The following preview is funded in part by a National Geographic Society Young Explorers Grant, the National Geographic All Roads Film Project, and NET Television. In 1994, Rwanda lost an estimated 80% of its minority Tutsi population to one of the most successful genocides in human history. The government knew absolutely that. We were not there in a role to protect civilians. In fact, a Chapter 6 mission is not allowed to protect civilians. Nearly one million innocent lives were lost. They choked every one, including my mom. Suddenly, Rwanda, this tiny African country, had been left with the highest percentage of orphans in the world. It was really a whole traumatized population. But I'm, I'm sure I can safely say that the recovery was surprising. In the summer of 2010, I began a journey with my friend Emmanuel. When was the last time you were back? Exactly like one year after genocide. Because my dad had been killed from here. In a world he grew up in, and one that I was experiencing for the first time, we set out to learn what recovery really means to a population who lost their parents to the worst crime on earth. A population he has been part of since childhood. What we started as a simple documentary project soon became a worldwide journey to find the answers to questions Emmanuel had been waiting his entire life to ask. From his peers, his family, those who saved. Those who witnessed. He's like, please don't go, no, if you go, they're going to kill us. But he promised me that he would stay while I went to try to find help. And those who participated in the genocide. In a society where all such people must coexist, Rwanda's orphan community is the youngest demographic of people who retain memories of the most efficient genocide the world has ever seen. If my daughter come and ask me, why I don't have my grandma? So it's hard. As they reach young adulthood and begin raising the next generation, their recovery and the lessons they pass on will in a large part determine Rwanda's future. The question is, is how do we prevent it from happening again? That's where the survivors come in. That's where the orphans come in. And you explain how you saw this. The fabric of Rwandan society was just shredded almost beyond recognition. To put that back together and to rebuild a nation, I think that's one of the main things we have to learn from the people of Rwanda, and the orphans in particular, is how you really can, no matter what, you can survive.